says the Redmi Note 4 has just received the first custom ROM. Yes, you heard it right. Let's install Lineage OS 13 on Redmi Note 4. Here we go. So as you can see right now, my phone is already running the stable MIUI build, the latest version. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and enable developer options and we'll ensure that the bootloader is unlocked and we will also enable USB debugging. There you go. All right. So let's have a look at all the files that we need. Everything is mentioned in the description. You just need to go ahead and download them and keep them in a separate folder on your desktop, which will make things easy for you. We're going to need the ROM, Google Apps, Lazy Flasher, Super User, and Minimal ADB and Fastboot, uh, which should help us with the Fastboot drivers, of course. So just go ahead and download all the files. You can pause this video while you do that and keep them in a folder and then follow the steps. Right? Okay, let's go ahead. So as you can see, all the files have been downloaded and they are kept in a separate folder, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, let's go ahead and first install minimal ADB and fastboot, which will help us with the drivers. And you know, just to make sure it is convenient for us, we'll install it directly in C drive. That's in the root of C drive, so that we can easily locate the folder. We're gonna have to copy the recovery later to that particular folder, and that's why we're gonna install it in the root of C drive. There you go. The installation is done and. Let's go ahead and copy the recovery over. There you go. So now we've copied the recovery to this particular folder here. Okay. Now press and hold the shift key and hit the right click on your mouse. You will see that a command prompt opens. And next, we're going to ensure that the phone is in fastboot mode and connected to the computer before we put any commands on the fastboot screen. So, power off your device. And then press and hold the volume down and power button for say about 4 to 5 seconds, which will ensure that your device enters fastboot mode. And the moment you see the fastboot logo on your phone's screen, you can go ahead and release the buttons and connect the USB cable. We will go back to the command prompt on your computer. So first we're going to type fastboot space devices to ensure that our device is connected. And once that is done, let's type in fastboot space flash space recovery space recovery dash Mido that is the code name for this device dot IMG and hit enter there you go the recovery has been flashed so let's boot the phone in recovery now and to do that all you need to do is uh, press and hold the volume up and the power key for about five to seven seconds Make sure your phone is connected to the computer while you boot into TWRP for the first time. So let's swipe right to allow modifications. Okay, now before we do anything in TWRP, we're going to make sure we copy all the files to your phone's internal memory. So that's your ROM file, Google Apps, Lazy Flasher, and Super User. Connect your phone to the computer while it is in TWRP and copy the files to your phone's internal memory. Now this is a very initial build and it has its share of bugs like you know voice over LT is not working so geo users might have to use the geo join app and the camera quality is not at its best and battery life might not be optimized but it's very smooth for an initial build and you know you get the feel of how Nexus devices are so that's the reason it's a very exciting ROM to install on your device. Now let's go ahead and wipe the device 
so click on wipe and click on advanced wipe and then wipe dalvik system data and cache and swipe right make sure you don't erase the internal memory because we just copied a few files in there and then let's click on install select the rom file that is lineage os then click on add more zips and select google apps click on add more zips once again select the super user file and one last time click on add more zip and select the lazy flasher file and swipe right to flash once the flashing is done you can simply go ahead and reboot now the first boot you know in the first boot as we have installed the super user along with the rom it may reboot once or twice so don't panic wait for it wait for it to boot patiently all right it will take about five to seven minutes to optimize all the apps and boot into system and stuff like that so please be patient it will definitely boot because i've tried flashing this seven to eight times and every time it has entered the operating system properly so there you go you're on the home screen now all right guys so as you can see on the screen i am inside the ROM or basically lineage OS uh, this is a settings menu Wi-Fi is working fine a host of things are working th fine you know like it's it's almost as good as a daily driver if you don't care about the camera quality and a few bugs here and there uh, everything seems to be pretty smooth just like you know every lineage build on most of the devices the vibration is working sound is working uh, you know the light sensor seems to work just fine additional features like live display uh, the fingerprint scan is working you know for a first build that's that's something really nice and apart from that uh, i've also noticed that the team engine seems to work now that's that's a very good thing as well so yeah i'm happy to report that you know uh, you know as you can see on the screen right now the fingerprint scanner i'm setting it up and it's it's working pretty fine so you know as i was saying i'm pretty happy to report that this is a very first build for this particular device and you know it's butter smooth it's not like you know those alpha builds which will have a lot of crashes and again you know i've just used it for like maybe half an hour or maybe one hour but you know from what it looks like it should be a solid daily driver and if you are a pure android lover it should be good news for you so if you enjoyed this video like share and subscribe and more tutorials coming up for you guys stay tuned